Hello there, I'm going to do a short video. I say short, it's got so many extras, it might be a bit longer than normal, but on the Espas 58 plate, just pointing out any obvious marks and showing you some of the extras that it does have. So starting with the front, I can tell you the windscreen is all clear, no chips, no cracks. You've got some obvious little marks. It's very small, nothing you wouldn't expect. Little stone chips. Front fog lights. Driver's side, not a lot to see. Tyres are all very good. It's got the 17 inch tyres with alloys. Alloys aren't too bad. Little mark right here around the handle. Tiny little mark there by the back door. Like I say, tyres all good. Little mark by the fuel click cap. So it's got rear parking sensors, tow bar with electrics, privacy glass, obviously. Not a lot to see on the back. This little thing here is a little bit loose. Passenger side. Okay, so now for the inside. So it's got keyless entry, so that's the key. As soon as you walk up to it and put your hand inside there, it unlocks, um, and then it locks itself, or obviously you can just press the lock on the key. So that's start off here. So you see that it just opened itself. It's got so many extras. Please excuse me if I miss anything, um, but feel free to ask me any questions. So you've got the picnic trays on the back of the, the main seats. It's got the sun visors. Now I've had lots of these and normally every single one is broken. I must say every single one of these ones are all intact and all work and all very functional. So it's just that bit there, it clips up onto the top of there and I'll show you which windows have them um, as we go along. So you've got half leather, half Alcantara, very nice, all seats good condition, certainly for its age, all seats good condition, your back seats there, try to zoom out a little bit, just flip that bit down. Now all of these back seats do come out. Um, so you can have all the back ones out all together or at least folded down um, so you've got more boot space um, or you, as I say you can have every single one of them out apart from the two front ones gives you an excellent van size um, good for going to the dump personally I've already used it to go to the airport for holidays um, drove lovely and great space I actually took three of these back seats out and just had these two ones here so in the back there Again, another sun visor. Cup holders for the back as well. And a proper seat belt, proper three point belt, not those silly little lap belts. You've got separate air con here as well. You can use for the back. Okay, so in the back. Again, very rare, but it's actually got the parcel shelf. It's got the smaller parcel shelf as well, so that when you've got the seats up, but obviously with these seats out or folded down, you've then got a proper parcel shelf. Here, like I say, another sun visor. And again, another one this side. All of them working, all of them very good, including that window there. So it's still got a fair bit of boot space, even with all seats in there, which is quite rare. You certainly get a buggy and a bit of shopping in there. So it does have the four electric windows. It's 
Got the lovely double panoramic roof. I'll show you that working in just a second. Now the only mark on any of the seats is this driver's one, just down the bottom here. A little bit of wear there, but the rest of the seat is very good. That's actually your air conditioning units and dials. That's your electric windows, you've got your folding mirrors as well. Got your armrest, which is quite nice. So to start it, you put the key in there. Put on clutch. Oh, excuse the music. Let me just put it turn that down. So you've got a little hidey compartment there with your stereo in and a remote, <laughs> obviously, because that button is just too far away. And then you've got a nice little cubby hole there. And another little cubby hole there. Cubby holes all over the place, if I'm honest. You've got little ones there on the dash. You've got another one on the other side. So you've got cruise control. That's how you turn it on and off. This is how you control your speed. Nice little cubby hole there. All your locking wheel nuts there. Cup holder. Now, big large roof. on here there you go Let's shut that back up again all working tested it lots make sure it is working working perfectly and then you can also get the blind to come over so that you haven't got the panoramic roof if you don't like the heat on your head. Me personally, I prefer that back. It makes it feel very airy in here. Um, Aircon's definitely colder than it is outside. Might need a regas, um, but it certainly is working whether or not it's ice cold or not. You have to come and have a feel for yourself. It does have sat-nav there. And it's the remote control that works the sat-nav so you can put in your destination. It does have Bluetooth for your phone. It's obviously got the mats in it as well. Proper ones. Any other questions, feel free, give us a call. Sorry the video was a bit longer this time, but it's definitely worth showing you the extras. Thanks ever so much.